And then last couple of clips here, I'm going to show you Medium Assault, which is me playing with Nana Weave Armor, the regen field, and trying to get a few more kills out of that. Now, because I have the Nanite regen field, um, I don't need medkits for health as much because I can just press F and get my health back. That lets me take C4, which makes me a lot more deadly. I can make big explosions and kill groups of enemies sometimes. I throw laser sight on my medium assault class just because I can get up nice, close, and personal. I've got the nano weave armor to bail me out. It's really nice. I run survivalist just to give me the health on the shield break, and then combat surgeon is just amazing. Now I haven't talked about combat surgeon much because I was uh, playing shield medic before. Um, but if you're playing heal and you play a lot of medic, combat surgeon is going to be an implant you definitely want to invest in. Once you before rank five, the revives restore your regen device energy. So every single time you revive, that charges up. Once it becomes rank 5, kills and revives restore it. So you can just, as long as you're getting kills, you can just keep that F button running all day long. And it keeps you up, keeps your allies up. And then another thing you unlock at rank 5 is after a revive with a resonade or a regular revive, um, you get a Nano weave effect, which increases your resistance to small arm damage by 25% for three and a half seconds. So if you constantly chain revives, you're going to be second hardest unit to kill in the game, besides heavy assaults. And it's kind of where the term medium assault comes from. So here, I wanted to show you, I overextended here, I got way too far forward, and now I'm going to run. But because I'm a medium assault, I can run back and forth, I can shuffle, and that's going to keep healing me, as long as I have that F key. So that speed and those heals are the reason why I was able to survive that. And then they push me again, and my regen field just keeps pushing me back up, and that's the only reason I live there. Now the reason I'm showing you this clip is that I ran out of Terminus bullets, but I get res here, right? And I, I know that there's two enemies over here. Terminus, 13 shots, might not kill them. So that's why I want people to start pulling out their sidearm and just shooting if they're out of ammo. Because if I try to reload here, I'm dead anyway. So I pull out the Commissioner. I hit three of my six shots and almost killed two people so definitely put a little bit of training into vr because then you can get a couple kills run out of ammo in your terminus switch your sidearm grab another one that will make your ability to get two kills instead you'll get four kills and then if you start getting used to your knife you can extend that further but i definitely want to emphasize that you should get used to using all of your assault rifle ammo, if there's still an immediate threat, that's when your sidearm comes into play. And then a quick little... I'm playing medium assault. I don't have medkits. Because I don't have medkits, I can see four maxes. So that's the benefit of taking the regen field and combat surgeon.
because it opens up that tools or the resource slot for you to carry C4 instead. So that was, I'm sure that was a lot of information. Um, I hope the, the video helped. Um, I just wanted to reiterate that Combat Medic is such a great class. It's such an important component of strong pushes and defends. If you have 12 members and none of them are medics, you have 12 lives. If one person's a medic, if they go down, you've got 12 people. If two people are medic, then they can just keep each other up the whole time. And all of a sudden, 12 bodies can be 24 or 30, and you never have to take that 150, 200 meter walk from the base to the actual fight, and everyone's happier. Um, and I want to reiterate that good medics are ones who can address immediate threats, but then still keep themselves safe. So, like you saw, I was tried not to be the first in any fight, but if the person in front of me went down, I would try to take out the person who was right in front of me, and then I'd be able to res. So now we take a one-for-one -one trade, and we bring our ally back up. That's the core of small medic play. And then large medic play is just throwing res nades everywhere. So if you take anything away from this, I hope you play combat medic a little more. Um, just try to help out public people. It's so frustrating to die to banshees and rockets and all that kind of stuff. But the great thing about those things is they have to move after they do those things. A banshee can't just sit there and sit the same, hit the same spot. They have to fly away. While they're flying away, if you bring everyone back up, they can get inside. And it's like it never even happened. So that's great. And um, if anyone is ever grinding heel ribbons or shield ribbons, um, I'm always down to play a Bionics Heavy or a Carapace Heavy, and you could just tether to me all day long, and you can get like 30 instances of heal XP in like a minute. So uh, I'm going to open the floor up to a couple questions here. Um, if it drags on, we can go on to live and do our medic ball and continue discussing, but if anyone has any questions, uh, now's the time. Me, me. What's up, Heather? So, real quick, I do love the usage of ordnance dampeners. I do think myself that they should be used more. So, thank you for actually mentioning that. Question is, uh, would you say it's actually better to put ordnance dampeners on top of boxes? There are a lot of boxes on this game. You can put ordnance dampeners on top of them, and then they serve kind of more purpose than. Because, all right, it's supposed to protect you from grenades. If three or four grenades fall next to the ordnance damper, it dies. But because of how explosion damage works on this game, because it's kind of elevation calculated, blah, 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 that's some technical shit, never mind. If you put the ordinary dampeners on top of boxes, they will survive a longer time. So would you say that's actually kind of a, a good thing to do, or should you put them in cubbies as you, you did with the video groups? Um, honestly, the one thing about putting it on boxes, it depends kind of where the box is. I tend to put things in cubbies because if they're easy to get shot at, I tend to shoot them. I know a lot of people don't don't look for them, um, but I usually do. Uh, I think it depends. I've never actually thought about putting them on boxes, so that's awesome. Um, if they're grenade spamming into a point, it's probably better. Um, there are definitely times where you just kind of want it to be out of sight and out of mind. Um, so I think there's there's a decision to be had there. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions about weapons, implants, anything? Feel free to use the no mic channel as well. Are you guys able to hear me? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, so the question I have is, uh, during which types of situations is it better to use uh, the healing grenade versus the uh, revive grenade, uh, and 
I'm guessing you'd have to coordinate that with other medics in your squad, right? Yes, you would. And honestly, it's... I don't use the healing grenade very much. Um, it's something where you would want like a really, really coordinated squad to use it. Because honestly, if you have like two or three um, regen fields, that's usually enough. Um, I know like really experienced squads will take a couple healing grenades because that will stack on top of the regen fields. Um, but most of the time, it's great for every medic to have as many revive grenades as they can, because if three of the medics go down, you want that last medic to still have those res grenades to spam. Does that make sense? Yep, that makes perfect sense. Thank you. The res grenades are just so powerful, I can't understate that. And while I'm talking about res nades, um, one thing I kind of, just a little, a little positioning trick, I like to do. The more res grenades you have, uh, the further back you want to be. Because if you've got like four res grenades and all your squad is duking it on point, you want to be able to throw all those res grenades. But if you have like one um, or zero, then you want to be on that point, healing everyone as much as you can and dishing out that damage. All right, so on the topic of res grenades, because I do know that they bounce off people. So <laughs> if I throw four, four res grenades and they bounce off of the person in front of me, they will land on the same spot. I, what I personally do is try to bounce them off of a ceiling uh, to kind of make them land whenever I want so I can cover a whole room. Would you say that's a good practice? Or I think that's fantastic, yeah. <laughs> I have tried so many times to just throw a res grenade, like at the ground or right in front of me and someone will just walk right in front of it if i if i angle it just a little bit higher it won't hit their heads and yeah and you'll get them where you need to go yeah need because i literally go. make them like hit the ceiling because when they in this game the trajectory doesn't work properly i guess because the moment they hit the ceiling they straight up fall down like immediately down so you can I found out I can pretty much cover a lot of room just by that, like kind of three points in the ceiling. If you're in the room, like three points in the ceiling covers the whole thing. Yeah, that's three, an awesome four. tip. See Horace is typing, so I'll let him. Hmm. Can you please read it out as well? Yeah. Um, Horace asked, they said he really likes the Terminus. Um, he also likes the Punisher's Underbarrel Grenade. Combat Medic has a class. Punisher under barrel grenade. Um, if you use it, it clears status effects and it heals um, some amount that I don't remember. Um, now this is the beta of do you use the terminus? Do you use the Punisher for the under barrel grenade? What kind of thoughts are there on that? And I might not be the best person to answer that on because I've I've used the Punisher. I probably have about <laughs> four kills on it um but i would say it's kind of it kind of goes back to what we were talking about before of like kind of playing around the medics you already have if you're if you're the only medic maybe it's better to lean into the support aspect a little more um but also it's it's great having the gun you're the most comfortable with to deal with an immediate threat right in front of you is a great way to res people faster because once there's no one in front of you that's when you can use the res tool or when you have a really good piece of cover that's when you can use the res tool the goal is to have the res tool out as as little as possible um, so sometimes picking the gun that has the most damage helps with that in general um i will probably use the terminus most of the time but i really like my kills so <laughs> Uh, Gone Wise, can I hear your thoughts about the HV-45 as well? I have used it very little. Um, with the advanced laser sight, it's a beast in close quarters range. Um, feels a lot like the Serpent, so it's something that once I Arax the Terminus, uh, it's probably going to be my next gun. I love getting in those close fights and 
just hit firing people. Okay, Kura. Kura said that she um, rebound her medic tool to one of her mouse buttons so she can pull it out a little bit easier. I've I've never thought about that. I've definitely fumbled with the number keys before and uh, missed that medic tool. But I, I do have, I think I have melee bound to one of my side buttons. But I do have a free one if I still think that's a good idea. So... Uh, if there are no other questions, um, I'm there going... Real quick. Sorry. Yep. I guess I wasn't here for the exact beginning. What do you run on Terminus? Sorry. Uh, what attachments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, usually, I run uh, Forward Grip. And um, I run the Soft Point animation because, in general, Soft Point animation is always good. The velocity trade-off isn't, isn't that bad. Mm -hmm. um, sure. Once you put a forward grip on the terminus, it's it's a laser beam. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. On my yeah on my medium assault class where I try to get a little more up close and personal, mm -hmm. I do run the advanced laser sight, but I spend about eighty percent of the time with forward grip. Fair. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the commissioner and the underboss should always have the laser sight on them, because then you can just hit fire people at like ten meters. It's so nice. And then, uh, in general, oh, there are no barrel mods or ammo mods for the underboss commissioner, so. Yeah, I usually throw on the just 1x yellow dot for my sidearms. So I will take any questions um, as they come up, but I'm also going to open up a SKL Medic Ball Squad. Uh, it's going to be open for recruitment, and we'll just play on the continent that doesn't have a queue. And we'll let you know when that is open.